Hello, 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 and welcome back to another stream of Genshin Impact. Today, I didn't log in last night to condense some resin. So, we should have almost full. Not that we need it, since it's not a boss rush Monday anymore. Uh, the mistakes we make... I mean, it wasn't a huge, huge mistake. We managed to apparently make it work. Even if the uh, stream fucking died at the end. And I just did the last one off stream. You don't have to worry about it. It wasn't really that much, of course. I don't think anything I do is really that much to begin with. Alright. A thousand and one cups of coffee. Alright, yeah, I just gotta... <laughs> just gotta tell him a story. I'm in Liu, eh? Yeah, it's always good to have a truthful basis. You can embellish some details, of course. Or just make it sound more fancy, but always stick to the facts. Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, it was just a malfunction then. I probably could have fixed up everything there, but I only had like the one thing left to do anyways, so I just went ahead and ended the stream in where we were. And I made sure to restart my computer cuz that's the second time it's done that while I was streaming and I've been streaming since about November. And the other time was rather recently. It was on a uh, Goose Goose Duck stream I was doing with a model sibling of mine. Sure yeah, it wasn't next. anything too How much to panic about. Anyways, now moving to the 19th hour. There we go. But it's good to see you back. I don't know if you had anything better to do, but I'm just happy you uh, swung by. <laughs> oh, yeah, the new uh, official soundtrack volume's out. That's fun. Oh, awesome. I, uh, I just started up for the day, really. I mean, it's like 2.30 in the afternoon here, but... Uh, I tried to drag myself out of bed earlier but anyways what's on the agenda today uh we're gonna do our daily commissions and then uh, of course i'm gonna do the uh 
double reward ley lines. And then I gotta decide what to do with my remaining resin. I don't have a lot planned for Genshin today, but after Genshin, I'm thinking I might uh, hop back into Don't Starve. Yeah, it is fun. I just suck at it. <laughs> yeah, uh, I enjoy the mods as well, but for the original Don't Starve, well, let's put it this way. I've used mods so much, I don't have a good... I don't have a good uh, baseline knowledge of how to play it in its vanilla form. Which is a detriment if I ever want to, you know, unlock more things via experience or get... Well, let's put it this way. I still haven't unlocked Weber. And I've owned that game for years. I think that's the easiest way I can put it. Yeah, in co-op... Co-op, uh... We've ended up just breaking with, uh... Someone made this Link mod that has a boomerang of infinite use. And it just fucking breaks the early game survival element because it hits birds and has the auto catch. Which mod built in. I don't know if it still works, but it but if it does, that's really cool. Uh when they originally made it. Uh, they of course took the auto boomerang mod and had a. Uh, well, actually, first it started off as a mod for the base game, and, and random giants, and it had a bunch of like Legend of Zelda themed items, like the Goron tunic and the Zora tunic that would work, and you'd spawn in with uh, all these. Work. These and those would work to help your uh, temperature stuff. So this thing was really busted already. You started off with just a plethora of items to work with. And then there was a boomerang, the master sword, the Hylian shield acted as a backpack. Uh, the bunny hood made you move faster. Oh, it was very useful. Uh, if you do do the boomerang, though, I highly recommend in getting the auto-catch boomerang mod, because there's no auto-catch by default. I think you can potentially uh, miss it or get hurt by it. I don't remember the exact details. So having the auto-catch mod is awesome. The Link one just came it with it pre-built in. And, of course, the boomerang has a uh, durability whenever you craft one yourself because there is a boomerang in the game just like the rest of Link's stuff of uh, the mod didn't have durability on them he was OP as fuck anyways when they transferred the mod to don't start together they took off a couple of things things in order to help balance it out because it had like the lens of truth and all sorts of things I don't remember what exactly they took off but anyways to like balance it out a little bit more but afterwards they decided hey let's just break this thing and made an LBGT one where he had the Goron and Zora tunic functions built into his base thing <laughs> just like Christ <laughs> And of course, the Master Sword, while not the best weapon, didn't have any durability.
There's no entrance. Yeah, it's a fun game. I'm uh I'm currently doing a uh, solo Don't Star or for my streams until I can get uh someone else to play with. I uh, talked to Ina about it. I'm hoping they'll be able to play with me at some point. But currently in my run of Don't Starve, I'm looking for the beefalo, and I can't find them. Ina was giving me a hard time because I was killing bunnies, and Ina's a bunny. <laughs> like, look, I need the foods, and I need... To survive the winter, I at least need l rabbit earmuffs. Yeah, yeah, they're really hard. I usually only find them if I up the beefalo spawns, but I kept everything pretty basic this time because I didn't want to have just an experience of, oh, I'm overpowered, that's no fun for the viewers. I did find some spiders, though, so I can... Work with some uh, monster meat, eat uh, random veggies or berries, and some sticks to make some kebabs and uh, meatballs. It's a bit of a trek, but I think I can work with that for a bit. Yeah, it took me a while to find them, though. I do like that I don't have to actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the spiders. Uh, they actually get one-shotted by the basic rabbit traps. So, a good farming... Yeah, I have to... I'm not a fan of setting the forest on fire unless it's absolutely necessary. Because, you know, that shit's dangerous. <laughs> the game already hates you enough. You don't need to give it extra reasons. <laughs> uh, whenever I did need charcoal, I usually... I do say usually because I didn't end up having time to do it this time. I usually take some of the pine cones that I have and I plant a controlled grove and burn that. Oh, they spawn even, even if you're not burning, if you even just have a hatchet <laughs> just going at them. Actually, uh, another fun thing for you, why am I here and not at Catherine? Another fun thing for you is uh, you can actually calm the tree guards by planting a tree. They'll instantly chill the fuck out. Astra. Thank you for comp I don't know if it's only pine cones or if birch nuts work as well. I haven't ever got the chance to do it because I'm very careful with how I do things. And I try not to over harvest even though I probably should harvest a bit more than I actually do. And whenever I have spawned them I don't have a pine cone next to me. I'm like well shit. <laughs> or my inventory is full. You know. All the ingredients to getting royally fucked. <laughs> yeah, they really do. They're waiting for you to slip up. Hey. 
I've actually uh, seen the uh, birch tree guards as well. It's uh, quite something whenever they show up. Also, uh, if you haven't played Shipwrecked, the palm tree guards. Oof, now there's an enemy. <laughs> What's the easy way to get up there? It's clearly not this anymore. Oh, the monkeys. So, the monkeys are a very mixed bag. They can be both friend or foe, depending on uh, how you treat them. They'll steal your shit, but they won't actively try to fuck you up. Unless you get tired of them and attack them. Or you can uh, be the Monkey King. And then it's just like Weber with the spiders. I mean, not just like it, but it's a similar concept. Yeah, uh, I think he has to be unlocked through a uh, method. It, uh, there's a couple that are like that, of course. Because, you know... Weber, you have to dig up from a grave, Ave, or find his skull in something. I don't remember. I have to look that up again. Oh yeah, there's a shit ton of lore. Uh, there's an old pirate dude you have to get like three keys from, or get three keys for, to get him out of the cave or out of the cage before you can play as him. And of course, Maxwell is the standard end of Reign of the Giants in its unlock. That we all know by now. Doesn't mean I have him, I just know he's there. <laughs> And don't starve together, they don't really force you to unlock them with achievements or experience like they do in regular Don't Starve. Which is both good and ill. Some of them they give you right away, some they require you to buy or uh, craft. Which you can use spools to get a character. So if you don't want to put any extra money in, uh, literally you just have to keep playing the game. Which, yeah, it can be a pain in the ass, they want you to spin, blah blah blah, all that. All that good jazz. Or is it bad jazz? Do I have a favorite character to play as? Um... I don't yet. I think I like playing the most as Weber. I've only played him in together with someone else, so, you know, it doesn't... He doesn't really mesh well with anyone. But I love his playstyle of working with the spiders and whatnot. I love that. But I don't have them in regular Don't Starve, so I haven't been able to fully been able to test as that power in a solo world. Yeah, Willow's the pyromaniac. And considering you said you like setting things on fire, yeah, I can see that. is a solid choice. She always 
has uh, the lighter in case you need some light. And uh, I'm looking for a on. <laughs> okay, yeah, I need way more of those. And she had a rework in uh, Together, which makes the uh, teddy bear a offensive slash defensive utility. Actually, a few characters have had reworks. I think Maxwell's had two reworks. And of course, all the lore is on their YouTube channel. Well, I say all of it, but you know, it's... It's vague and you gotta figure some stuff out, but that's part of the fun. Uh, the blonde girl with the dead twin, that is Wendy. And her sister is Abigail. You see, Abigail had to die because her name didn't start with a W. <laughs> Oh, that's me. Allow me. <laughs> so, Abigail potentially is good. Well, not Abigail, potentially. Abigail is the good part of Wendy's kid. Wendy herself oh, isn't very durable physically, but she's really durable. Well, in the sanity department, and of course isn't scared by ghost, who's like the other characters are. And then Abigail is who you'll use to fight everyone. And uh, her rework in Together, I don't know if they expanded the reworks to the base game. But uh, her rework in Together allows you to upgrade her. Uh, then there's Wartox, who fucking can break the game in half. Because he can teleport. Oh, uh... What was his name? Wolfgang. I think that's his name. Yeah, he's... He's basically... The heavy hitter. <laughs> what are my orders? He has to be fed a lot, or else he weakens. But once he has a full belly, he hits pretty hard. Solidify. Illusion shatter. Emerge. Right and I think I think meat helps him more than vegetables. He isn't as restricted as uh, Wigfrid, where she can only eat that, only eat meat. But I think uh, veggies have a decreased fill rate on him. But don't quote me on that. Illusion shattered. Emerge right here, right now. A sight to behold. Emerge right now. I think his stomach also uh, empties faster.
Be very simple in concept, to be honest. Which sometimes is all you need. I think it would depend on uh, who he's paired with and the competency of the play of the people he's with and of course as well uh, the seed that you start with. Like if you can, if you can find either Beeflow, a Hunt, or a, a Rabbit Field pretty early, then I think you'd be good. The Rabbit Field probably be the easiest one of all those. I think we're gonna try a, a round of Spiral Abyss here. See how we do. Floor 11, what you got for me? Animo focus? Let's see. Second half's gonna be Team OP. Doop, 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 doop. First half. Let's go. Let's see. Yeah, if we have him, we're going to want a Hydro. Let's see. Hydro, Pyro, Animo. Alright, so let's see. And a Shield. Okay, so that's that. Let's try... Gazua? <laughs> Never managed to get more to a... I've, uh... I don't remember if I've attempted Floor 12, but I've certainly never fully started. Okay, let's see. If we're using Hydro, let's bring Kokomi so we have another healer on board. And then Pyro. I don't have a lot of built pyro options. Shangri is my closest in minute as well, but even they need some work. Klee's kind of clunky and Hu Tao's risky, but I, mean, I have Yomiya. Right, I have Yomiya. She's a little less risky. And only a little. <laughs> Let's give this a go. Don't worry, I have a skill issue too. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, healing effectiveness. To me is good. Yeah, yeah, you really gotta keep your distance with her. Oh, right, I have to defend this fucking thing. Okay, shield. Guess what? Boom. Ah, fuck. This would be the time they show up. At least it's HP based and not uh not time based. Come on, die. I know I'm not a DPS with this, but come on. This is my DPS strategy here. <laughs> ah, I'm frozen. Okay, fuck this. They aren't dying. In fact, I think they're healing. What the fuck? Hey! 
Stop that. I don't know why I'm having this much trouble with this shit. <laughs> Hey, Noelle was a bad choice, because for some reason they don't want to be hurt by her. Okay, slimes, this is a bit easier. I at least know what to do with you guys. Boom. 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 Ah, I'm frozen. I know this works on you guys. Spectres are weird. There we go. Yeah, that probably needs a different team comp, at least for that first part. This, on the other hand, should be cake. Solidify. I ain't called Team OP for nothing. Right here, nothing lasts forever. Right now, emerge. For Rex Lapis, access denied. Nope. Inazuma shines eternal. This is order. Right now, right here, a sight to behold. Right now. Now you shall perish. There is no escape. Right here. I will have order. Stabilize. Shine down, torn to oblivion. All right. That could have gone way better, but we three start it. <laughs> All right, more healing effectiveness. That would be nice, but we already chose that last time, so maybe let's up our burst damage. All right, this one's time based. Let's do this. Leave it all to me. <laughs> oh wait, it's, th it's just these two. Okay. Boom. Boom. Clouds high. The birds call. Time to go. Fire hazard. Yep. One with nature. I kept trying to switch to Noelle, but Noelle wasn't on two. Noelle was on one. Excuse me, could you die? Thank you. Alright, here we go. Boom. 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 Here we go. I'll catch up. 
damage. Into the wind. I don't know what about this particular run is being so detrimental to me right now. Ah, damn it, he has his shield back up. Ah, I've lost this. Ah, damn it! Yeah, this wasn't a very good team comp. I need something better. I think last time I did this kind of uh, battle, I had both Venti and Kazuha working in my favor. That might help a lot, actually. You need to stop, good sir. Bitch. Yeah, it might. One with nature. Here we go. Okay, he's down. Think of a better game plan. Illusion shot emerge right here. This is long overdue. I'm always watching. Emerge right now. Emerge. Slice and dice. Oh yeah, and I use Electro a lot, so I've noticed that. <laughs> Holy shit, I managed to salvage that run. Thanks, Unlimited Burst Works. <laughs> Yeah, that's why that's called Team OP. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't get pixelated on my end, but it does pixelate on uh, the recording end. Like my gameplay, I see it fine, but I know the recording doesn't see it fine. Where is everything? Okay. Get fucked. I must leave no stone unturned. Here Suck shit. Hi. No, don't run from me, bitch. Fallen leaves. Adorn my knights. Wind strike. Time for a light show. Out of my Your Majesty. 
Oh yeah, they're a pig. That's them. Who's next? Okay, just you guys. I must leave no stone unturned. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom. Leave it all to me. Clouds hide. The birds call. Fire hazard. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, man. No three star. Yeah, that that team comp cannot put down the damage. But let's see how well we can do this. Order guide. Shine down. Emerge. Right here. Right now. For Rex Lapis. Born of ice and frost. No touch. I'm always watching. Right here. Right now. Right here. Inazuma shines eternal. That's one. Illusion shattered. This is order. All hail. Born of ice and frost. Oh yeah, uh give me a sec to not be dying. <laughs> Alright, so first let me collect my things here. Da, 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 da. That'll do for today. With all of that. I'll go... Over here. So, when coming up with this form... So... I had one to try doing some VTuber stuff for quite some time, so I had quite some time to think about it. Having been inspired by a uh, hollow life, life mostly. And uh, I figured out, I juggled a few things, and I wanted something that could be both me and sort of vague at the same time, you know, give that wiggle room for out of character moments and whatnot and originally I thought oh maybe I could use my uh, vocal skill oh and craft up a female voice I used to try to do that and just do a trap but and then I thought no nah, that might not be quite as authentic to me and then I then I thought, well, my only real skill is my voice manipulation. And so why don't I go with something that that has as the nature of shape shifting? 
aimed to take on a new form. No and thus, I, uh, I contact, well, I went to the Live2D server, and I put out a commission for a doppelganger. And I gave some examples. One of the base examples I had was, uh, like the silhouette they have in Case Close slash Detective Conan. And where it's just like this silhouette of a person. And only, it, and Danganronpa does the same thing. Only that itself was the being. Thus, one who has no form can take on many forms. So, when coming up with the rest of the design, I, of course, I like these elegant kimonos. I really want one in real life, to be honest. I would love one. Because I like, I like fluffy sleeves. Sleeves and, uh, the water motifs are very, very nice. I have a favorite uh, Japanese painting. Obsessed with sleeves and fish. <laughs> That's why I like robes so much. There's so much extra room on the sleeves. You can be dramatic All with it. Whoosh! Is but a That's the reason why capes are awesome. I stand before it, alone and, uh, and unchanging. There's actually a Japanese painting I really like. That's uh, like it's the waves. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, so let me, actually no, we can, we can do this over this for now. I'm not, uh, fully rigged down here, or completely, completely, like, I can't move my legs, I'm not 3D, but I got wiggles. I got feet. <laughs> I got hands underneath those giant ass sleeves. <laughs> I swear they're there. <laughs> and, uh, I got some shark teeth here. And there's uh, something else a little, a little nice, getting all nice and close. I got fishies in my eyes. I'm always buffering. <laughs> I can make them glow. <laughs> no thoughts, just loading screens. It's like, hang on, I'm stupid, let me buffer. <laughs> the world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. And uh, I actually have two model parents. Uh, I don't have the other model rigged, but it's the same concept, just in a different style. So I have both of them to thank for the way this turned out and the way this formed, because I can't come up with ideas on my own. I need someone to bounce them off of. I mean, the doppelganger thing, I came up with, of course, but it wasn't fully fleshed out as it is now. All the world oh yeah, of course. But actually, before I get that model uh, rigged, I have a pet from the second model's creator that I want to get rigged first. That way I can get that all settled away. It's a mimic. <laughs> it 
it has the uh, Sojo Goth kind of stylization that the second in form has, or the second version of this form, technically. And then, after a while, I'll start uh, commissioning models for my other actual faces, the forms I take on. So more than just a, a variant of this, but I mean, I will still want more variants of the base form, but the other ones. And as well would be like a wholly different person, look-wise at least. Because what is a doppelganger without, without the ability to change its form? The world remains constant over the centuries, but human life is like the dew at dawn, or a bubble rising through water. Transitory. And then, of course, there's uh, one model that I want made just for my own, own uh, personal enjoyment, but that's just a model of a character that I really like. Aw, thank you. I keep hearing that whenever... Uh, I talk to artists whenever deciding on who would be the one to who uh, make this. Because uh, when I initially thought of this idea, my first instinct was, was uh, let's make sure this one isn't done to death. Because my original thought, even uh, this was even before the female told or, well, the trap thought was, uh, a Kitsune, because I fucking love yokai, and Kitsunes are my favorite. So, before that, but, of course, stuff like that is done to death. And it does have that whole transformative capabilities, but I wanted to make myself somewhat unique. Sure, using something you know, that someone else or that is widely done isn't necessarily a bad thing, but at the same time, I want something that stands out a tick. I might still go for Kitsune form for one of my forms, but that's, uh, that's something to decide later. The only one I have set in stone that I know I want is like an Office Lady Lamia. And the mimic will uh, also will transform to match the new forms as well. I'm thinking a copy machine mimic for that one. All right, Farazan, how are we doing on those? All oh, right, just enough for the next one. Hmm. Then we just need 20 more. <laughs> but as cliche as it would be to have a kid saying, I still love them to death. I very much like Japanese culture. As you might be able to tell from both what I'm wearing and the designs it has. Do you allow links in stream? Well, that depends on where the link goes to. Toy House page gallery, if you know what that website is. I do not. But, uh, just for safety's sake, Ike, uh, why don't you 
Okay, so Toy House is that the uh is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. Uh All I wasn't going to suggest uploading it to there, I was just going to look it up manually. Just to be sure. Uh, it's a website people post their original characters and worlds on. Okay, Toy House. Okay. Okay, so that's what Toy House is. Character respiratory. Have a look around. Uh, just give me the keywords. I'll see if I can't find it. The world remains constant over the centuries. Or, I guess like this doesn't have a search function. Okay, I might need a link. Water. Transitory. So, username is... Ghost Org, and the character is Enigma. Okay, uh... How do I search things? Browse drop down menu search button. Backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. These parts are safe for sure. Okay, found them. Character Enigma. Ah, I see. I see what you're looking at. I have seen this sort of uh character type around, of course. The, uh, tall, elvish, devilish type. Inactivity serves How do I explain no that? Um, uh, I'd say do tall, dark, and handsome, but that's, that's very, that's a very generic description. <laughs> uh, there are words to describe this. I'm just failing them. <laughs> Yeah, uh, if uh, a person named Steve shows up, they have a design like that. I don't know who else all has designs like that, but you certainly see them around. But, of course, you can take a popular design and make it your own. I mean, goodness knows those uh, kimonos aren't exactly... A, uh, a very unique outfit choice. But it's how you execute it that would make something your own. Vampire-esque royalty? Yeah, that, that could definitely work out as, as a descriptor. The world remains constant over the centuries. Did this motherfucker just shove aside the Raiden Shogun? Get it's fucked, it's bitch! <laughs> The nerve of some people. <laughs> I have something in my backpack. What is it? Ah, these. Okay. Let's, let's open up these. What I get? <gasps> That was so close to being good. I got so excited because I thought this was the other Animo set, but it's not. Fuck. I still might be able to use this, because its substats aren't terrible. 
I could use it as like a one-off piece, potentially, depending on how it rolls. But still, that was really close to being amazing. Just the wrong fucking set. I got excited a bit too early. <laughs> And potentially a two-piece, but that's all for a different day. For now, though, I think I'll bring Genshin to a close. Uh, I'm going to end the stream because I like to keep things organized. Then I'm going to use the restroom right quick and boot up Don't Starve, alright? So if you want to stick around, stick around. But I'll do my usual sign-off. Hopefully not fucking it up like I usually do. I'd like to wish you all a fond farewell and thank you for stopping by. If you like this, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or YouTube. And until next time, fare thee well.